Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about the Halo Infinite population drama that has been circulating around Twitter the past few days. I didn't want to make a video on it. As soon as it was all happening, I wanted to kind of dive deeper into the numbers and take a look around and ask some questions. So I wasn't just going to upload a video that's like, oh, look at this, this is super sad or super, you know, look at the numbers are super high. But... It looks like Halo.API on Twitter has figured out a way to get a pretty accurate representation of the player base on Halo Infinite at a given time. And this includes both Xbox and PC. Xbox, we've never really had any numbers. We've always, you know, looked at like the most played games on Xbox Live and been like, oh, Halo's fifth or 25th or first or whatever it is. So there's got to be a lot of people playing, or there's not a lot of people playing. But he tweeted that as of 7 a.m. Pacific time on July 7th, that 5,185 people were playing. And this was also based on a pool of 221,955 unique players who have played Halo Infinite at least once since June 20th, 2023. He then followed up that tweet later on that night saying at 6 30 p.m pacific time which is supposedly you know like prime time hours that 15,533 people were playing on both xbox and pc again some people asked you know like what about offline players and all that stuff and halo.api said that all of those players are taken into account once they leave a trace within the game and then people were like these are decent numbers right and these are terrible numbers right and then there was comparisons to other games and blah 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 the final tweet that uh he's put up recently was today on sunday july 9th i say today this video is probably going up on monday but as of 10 a.m pacific time there were 7,855 people playing with 6,458 active fire teams and out of that 65 percent were in matchmaking 30 percent were idle or in the menu 3% were in the custom games, 1% was in campaign, and 0.78% people were in Forge. With the three top ranked, with the three top played playlists being ranked arena, super fiesta, and big team battle. So personally, I this is my per, uh, prime time. You know, North America is the primary location for people who play Halo Infinite. 15,000 total people, you know. We're four seasons in with all the, you know, kind of negativity and stuff like that. There's been no marketing push and everything. I feel like 15,000 to me is not that low of a number. I was thinking it was going to be worse. Do I want it to be higher? Of course. That's not what we're talking about, though. Something else that's very interesting to me is the 221,955 unique players who have played at least once since June 20th. Now, that number is pretty high, and that says to me that either, like, I feel like people are playing the game. They're just not playing for a long time. Like, the concurrent count is very low, but people are, like, logging on to, to play at least. I had somebody say that, you know, I have four smurfs account so that doesn't take that into consideration so even if somebody if every single player that had logged in had four smurf accounts it's still fifty thousand unique players since june 20th which is not terrible still people always like to talk about you know games are dead this game is dying they turn off the servers and stuff like that and i don't think that people really take into consideration what a dying game or a dead game actually is and like how many people 15,000 people playing at one time is you know halo is definitely in my opinion not a global game there are obviously people across the world who play it but it's just it feels very na and a little bit of eu and you know some south america stuff sprinkled in there now this comes off that article that said you know only two percent of people were playing halo or whatever it was you know, just basically saying that the game is incredibly dead. And there are people who comment on the channel that say the game is dead also. And, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. I hope when we get, like, PvE content and stuff like that, it'll start to pick back up again. But honestly, if the game had, like, a 25,000 concurrent player count at peak times, I would be ecstatic. I don't know. You know, people will be like, your standards are low. But I don't know. I just, that's just how I feel. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is a big deal or not. If you made it this far in, in the video, just put dead game down in the comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!